Sup guys, we're here with another review and today we're checking out the Decidueye Evolution set. And oh my god, I've been waiting for this figure in anticipation. It is a Toys R Us exclusive and um, I was originally going to order this online. But as you know, Toys R Us is going out of business. Um, it's going out of business and they are no longer taking orders or anything like that online. And I never thought I was going to see it. I went to go check out my local Toys R Us. I walked in. This was there. And I was like, I have to pick this up. Because I am not paying um, those $40, $50 that scalpers are scalping these for on eBay. And I doubt I'll find it on Amazon. But anyways, let's get this review started. So, of course, only at Toys R Us. Posed for battle. Tomy, ages 4+. plus, The CGI Evolution set. We have the Pikachu mascot as usual, three figures included. Pokemon logo, side of the box, clear window down here. It says the CGI evolution set in different languages. Over here, same thing, different languages, yada yada. Not much going on top of the box. No, nothing at the bottom of the box. Move to the back of the box, we got Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Evolve your Pokemon and enter the battle. And it shows you, um, you know, uh, the evolution line here. And then the other figures in the line that you get. You know, the Alolan, Ash, and Pikachu. And then um, all the other great stuff there. Tomi.com. Tell me. And uh, this just looks gorgeous. I'm tired of looking at and looking at it through the clear window here, let's go ahead, let's get this bad boy open. Okay, we got these bad boys out, and to start things off, we got Rowlet. Beautiful Rowlet. And of course, there's no articulation, it's just a static figure. Um, all the paint application seems to be done right, everything where it should be. There's not a lot of bleed over, and if there is, it's not on anywhere... Um, important or anything that's too noticeable but it's not bad again you know another good piece to have on your desk or on display or to just let the kids play with you know if you're not a collector that is but he's so cute he's adorable I, I, I was definitely team Rowlet you know when Sun and Moon came out uh, next we have um his emo stage <laughs> Star Tricks with his beautiful bang here. Um, the painting all looks like it should be where it should be. Um, doesn't look to be sloppy at all, which is good. Because on the other review, the one of uh, Brion, um, Brion looked rough for some reason, you know? But uh, here, Star Tricks looks good. It, it looks decent for what it is. Um, as far as articulation, it's, you know, nothing here moves. Uh, the bang is a soft plastic to move it around, but you can probably break it. Um, his wings here, his hands here, go up like that, go all around. This one, if you move the bang, goes up all the way around. Um, and then here, like the midsection does move. Like I feel like I'd be able to move, but... The bottom of the tail here would get in the way. But um, surprising, surprisingly, the ankles do move full 360. Full 360. And the legs can kick up. Can kick down. But that's about as it. That's as good as it'll get. Put this bad boy here. And of course. Um, Decidueye. Now this is awesome. This is beautiful. This is the one I was anticipating. I got Incineroar. Incineroar is okay. Primarina is okay. But let's be honest. Team Rowlet, Team Decidueye, all the way. So, um, as far as colors, um, painting and all that good stuff, everything here looks accurate. It looks good. Soft plastic here. The top part of the cape, his vines, of course, 
or a soft plastic, basically a rubber. Like it all looks good. I mean, it, it, honestly, it's all just plastic. The only real paint application um, is the inside here. And he doesn't look bad. Honestly, he doesn't look bad. It could be better. I'm sure um, you can touch it up if you wanted to touch it up, but it's not bad. Um, he has these neat abs, you know, because he's ripped to hell um, <laughs> for some reason. Um, and he has this cloth on the wings, which is kind of interesting. Not really a fan of that. But again, the problem with this guy, even though he's my favorite, is the fact that from a design standpoint, he's awesome. But when you translate it over to a figure, well, for the most part, the for a Tomy at least, it just doesn't, it didn't come out well. And what I mean is you can't really pose them, you know. You know, this is in the way, so you can't really move it. This is like really hard plastic. It would be cool if they jointed it so the flaps can move up, so the shoulders can move up. Because um, the arms are in a ball joint, but, you know, for articulation, you know, this is as much as you're getting. That's it. You know, both sides, that's as much as you're getting. Um, the cloth, I don't know how this will do as it ages. You know, I don't feel like it'll do too well. I don't know why they didn't use soft plastic or rubbery, you know, that rubbery plastic. They could have easily done that. But, you know, it looks good. You know, um, we'll just see how it holds up. You know, like I said, you know, like, you do get full 360 of the hand here. Elbow. Moves like that. Same on this other side over here. Legs. Of course. You know, you have that knee joint. And then uh, he could kick up. He can move his leg out like that. Move his leg out like that. Kick up. Bend back. The ankle. Full 360. That's about it. Full 360. That's about it. Um, as far as the head. Full 360. Doesn't really move up or down or anything like that. And that's about it. So, <laughs> like, is he worth it? Like, eh, you know, like, he's not, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. And, of course, um, if you want to check him out all together, let's bring him in. You know, here we have Litton. Here we have Pop Leo. Let's move this back over here so you guys could see it properly. Looks gorgeous. Let's move the CGI over here. Let's move Dartrix right here. Let's bring Torcat. And then Brion. Move the camera back. Looks pretty good. And then, of course, uh, we can't forget the big guys, right? So, we got Incineroar. It just looks awesome. He looks amazing. We got Decidueye. And then we got the Tomy um, Primarina. Which just looks gorgeous. And then, of course... We got the Tomy Ash, and yes, I know he's not the Alolan Ash, but this is the Tomy Ash that I have. I will be picking up Ash and probably Tapu Coco, so look out for those, and I'll be doing a review on those. Um, one thing I failed to mention, um, <clears throat> the, the Sijuai did come with this arrow, this feather arrow. So there's that, but that's about it. Um, is it worth it? You know what, for 20 bucks, yes, or 25 or whatever it's going for, very much worth it. Um, like I said, uh, 
the decidui evolution set as far as the other evolution sets is um it's a toys r us exclusive so i don't know if they're gonna just release that for think geek or gamestop or wherever else they carry pokemon toys seeing as toys r us is going out of business um i'd say you know with the sales that are going on um you can go ahead and pick them up for cheaper than what he's going for i picked this set up for 20 bucks at Toys R Us. I do not regret it. I think he's awesome. I think he's beautiful. He's very much well uh, worth getting. Um, if you're like me who was looking to collect the entire three sets, you know, remember the Incineroar Evolution set, GameStop exclusive, Primarina, Barnes and Nobles exclusive, Decidueye, unfortunately, Toys R Us exclusive. Other than that, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, guys, you can go ahead and be patient. You know, like if you just want Incineroar by himself, I'm pretty sure Tommy's going to release it as a standalone figure, you know, like they always do for like 12 bucks. Same thing for Decidueye, same thing for Primarina. But if you're like me and you're like, the hell with it, you know, like I want the whole set, the whole evolution set, you know, pick it up. It's well worth it. So, yeah, you know, I recommend it. Um, not bad. Not a, not a bad display piece at all. But, you know, as always, guys, um, thank you for joining me in this unboxing and small review here. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll catch you guys later.